Join my Discord and help me build my empire. Okay, so you all make objectively correct statements and I have to argue against them. Actually, objectively correct is not an accurate representation of these statements you made because you will all actually come to find out that all these statements are actually objectively incorrect. And I'm gonna prove that using probably every single logical fallacy known to mankind. The sky is blue. I can already think of plenty of circumstances where this would not be true. First off, what if you're colorblind? And when the sun is rising or setting, it doesn't look blue, nor does it look blue at nighttime. We live on a planet that spins around, so only about half the Earth will have light from the sun at a time. So it is illogical to determine a single color from the sky when clearly it does not remain consistent. Alcohol is bad for a developing child. Well, in that case, you must have had some alcohol as a child seeing your profile picture. But in all seriousness, though, how can we determine this just by age? If a child is having alcohol at their age, we can simply make the argument that the child has grown up faster since you know at an adult age, that's when people have alcohol. This child may already be developed enough for alcohol. I mean, we can also say food is bad for a developing child because we could overfeed it. But does that not mean that a healthy amount of food would be good for a child? Even if it's just the smallest amount, alcohol could certainly be harmless for a child. But if given too much, just like almost anything else, it could end up bad for the child. But we shouldn't make a general claim like this that alcohol is completely bad. Two plus two equals four. Huh? What are these? I have no idea what these funny symbols are or what they do. Well, I actually do, but what I just acted out is a perfect example of how some objective claim is actually just a subjective opinion that can be left to our own interpretation. I asked for objective claims in this video, and you clearly did not provide that. What? Well, how much more objective can a math equation get? So what I am saying is that from a direct mathematical standpoint, I can't prove you wrong. But what leaves your statement to be interpreted is the language. Of course, two things and another two things make four things, but how can we be certain that the twos and the fours in that statement actually represent what we just assume they represent. For example, I can say that pan, leche, and huevos can make a cake, but that's not correct for English speakers because for them, it's bread, milk, and eggs that can make a cake. At the core essence, yes, all those objects can make cake, and the same goes with the math equation. What you are using in this equation is symbols from a language that is man-made rather than an objective, unchanging system. Because of this, your claim is therefore subjective, so it leaves us as individuals to interpret and decide what it means. So in my own interpretation, opinion, I can say you're wrong. Celeste is a video game. So I think we can agree here that a video game is like a video, except it can be controlled and played by a player. So for something to be considered a video game, it absolutely has to be played. Otherwise, it's just a video. Now let's look at a definition of play for a moment and see what we have here. Engage in an activity for enjoyment in recreation rather than a serious or practical purpose. We can clearly see here that to play something would mean that you'll have to engage in this for the purpose of this keyword, enjoyment. So to simplify, to be playing something, you have to be having fun and enjoying it. But the thing is, anyone who has supposedly played Celeste before would know that this is the most frustrating and excruciatingly painful activity you can do. It is far from fun. So because a video game has to be played, and played meaning you are having fun, I can conclude that because nobody is having fun when playing Celeste, it is not a video game. You can sit in chairs. Dino, I hate to break it to you, but this claim just has so many flaws. We haven't even specified what chairs we are talking about here. And the plural for chairs you say in the claim could imply that I am physically capable of sitting in multiple chairs at one time. Also, when you say you, I guess that means that this statement is directed towards me. So I have to bring up the question, how do you know that I can sit in chairs? That's a pretty risky assumption to make, considering you've never seen me do it before. Don't worry about that. And when you say can in this claim, it's hard for me to make any other conclusion other than that this is a conditional claim that if there is a chair, I am able to sit in it. We haven't considered the status of these certain chairs. Could I sit in an electric chair? Could I sit in a burning chair? Could I sit in a sharp, spiky chair? Could I sit in a chair so big that I couldn't even make it up to the seating position? Or can I sit in a chair so minuscule that I can't even see it? What if we get down to the size of atoms? How could I? At my size, seven foot four, be able to sit in a chair so small that I can't even see. But to be more technical here, I could never sit in any chair because there's never a situation where one boundary meets another boundary. Atoms never touch. So in all cases, including sitting in a chair, I am technically levitating.
In conclusion, you're making a rude claim against my physical capability to determine what chairs I have the ability to sit in. And with the making of the word chair plural, you're making an incorrect assumption that if I had the desire to, I could sit in multiple chairs at once. The statement you made is incorrect, disrespectful towards chairs, and discriminatory. So I have no choice but to cancel you. Water is a liquid. Water can exist in three different states. In order for this statement to be true, you would need to be more specific with what water you are talking about here. Sure, it can be a liquid, but that doesn't mean that water at this very moment is a liquid as you claim. I hate to go back to the same accusation, but you're doing the same thing Dino was. I think it's very disrespectful to make an assumption like this about such a broad state of matter like H2O. So I have no choice but to cancel you as well. If you paint a room yellow, it'll turn yellow. But if you paint the same room purple, it'll turn purple. I see what point you're trying to make here, but we have a problem. We can't ever be certain that if we paint a surface, it'll 100% be that color. We would need to talk about the surface more. What material is it? How rugged is it? Is there already wet paint or some other liquid on it that would result in the painting being ineffective when applied? Of course, we can make broad assumptions of how this room likely is, but if you remember the past two claims, making assumptions are clearly not always accurate and I therefore have to dismiss this case. <laughs> Cats exist, it can be pet. No, they're not. The government made them up to spy on us. Dialga Pro is cool. I think you need to be more specific on what you are talking about in this claim. The term cool can be used in a variety of different ways, as you can see in the many different definitions here. If you're talking about Dialga Pro being calm, or that he seems epic or awesome, or whatever other words we use nowadays, then that would obviously not be an objective truth. However, if you're using the term in the sense that Dialga Pro is chilly, or cold in temperature, then unless you know that he is cold now, always has been, and forever will be, we can't say that he is in that state, or that it's not subject to change, or that it hasn't already changed. Don't vape. It's not a claim, bro. You're just telling me what to do. You can tell me not to breathe as well. It's not a claim that breathing is bad. You're just telling me not to do it. So technically, I can't determine your claim. You're just telling me not to do something. This sentence, if you even consider it a sentence, is imperative, not declarative. But vaping is bad. Don't do it. Gibby's cute. Oh no, why did you make me have to argue against this? Okay, let's be real here. If you look at this picture, yes, obviously, Gibby is objectively cute. There's no denying it. But there's some situations where he may not be considered cute. Okay, I can only find one example, but only one. This is one circumstance where he barfed a couple times before, and when I was taking point fives of him for some reason flash turned on when I didn't even turn it on. So I guess if I have to deny it, no, Gibby cannot always be cute. Everyone should subscribe to Chair Elves. My gosh, another one I don't want to argue against. Okay, so how exactly do you subscribe to someone? Well, on YouTube at least, you click the big red button down below. So we can determine that you subscribe to a YouTuber by clicking the button one time. And I think everyone should do that. But we have a problem here. Unfortunately, Cheese did not specify how many times the button is clicked. Because if you click the button, go ahead, try it, it will say that you are subscribed. But you wouldn't want to click that button again, because then it would unsubscribe you to Cheryl. So to fix the flaw in this claim, I would write it like this. Everyone should subscribe to Cheryl, but just once. So the inputs don't cancel out each other and leave someone unsubscribed when their intentions were clearly, reasonably, and understandably the opposite. The Earth is an oblate spheroid. I was gonna do the Earth is round, but realize you could use technically it's not perfectly round to get out of it, so I changed it. No, no, it's okay. I don't need the clarification, because I don't think it's either of those two. I think it's flat. Super flat. Like Minecraft flat. Listen to this, I'll blow your mind, but fair warning, it might get a little political. So we're supposed to believe that Earth supposedly has gravity that brings it towards the center, right? But let me show you how this doesn't make sense. Obviously, the Earth is bigger than us, so we get pulled towards the Earth. But why is that not the same with the Sun? When we were talking about the Sun, the Earth doesn't fall on it due to gravity, and the Sun doesn't fall on some other bigger star due to gravity either. Why are we not all falling towards whatever the biggest thing is? So what do I think? Well, I think that the law of gravity is clearly flawed and then cannot be used as evidence to prove that the Earth is round. I think it's more reasonable to believe that the third dimension, as well as gravity, simply does not exist. So like a piece of paper, we are rather in a two-dimensional, perfectly flat world with no sort of spheres or bumps at all whatsoever. 
Anything you see in the third dimension is an illusion in your head planted by the government. If you sleep tight, the bed bugs will bite. Unless we have taken a test on absolutely everyone who has ever slept in a tight fashion and take every single experience these people have had and analyze each specific occurrence, we cannot truly be certain that the bed bugs will always bite, let alone even show up. This claim simply lacks evidence to support it. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but I am almost certain this is merely a slogan you've heard sometime in your life. And now you're using it to try to make a claim. Now here I go making assumptions, but I think it's a reasonable one to make. Oxygen exists. You have no evidence. I'm gonna have to see it to believe it. Water is water. You can't define a term with the same term. Also, water isn't even water. Like, come on. That's like, that's like saying I have five ears or something. No, do I even need to elaborate? That is clearly nonsensical. You're wrong. Both the Einstein condensate is a state of matter. I don't even know what that is. That's not fair, stop cheating. This claim is going to be in the video. <laughs> that I'm in the correct time zone. Hmm. So at the time of this upload, 4 p.m., based on your flawed logic, you would say that it's 3 p.m. Unless you're in Europe. So well, this one isn't really that hard to prove wrong. For all us geniuses in the Eastern time zone, we just have to check our watch and tell that it is clearly 3 o'clock and not 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock and not 3 o'clock. That was not in the script, I did not mean to do that. To say that you are in the correct time zone, yet disagree with what time it is, you are denying time itself. But I'm not saying you can't do that because you definitely can. I've witnessed you do it before. Peanut's still celebrating Christmas. She's so far behind. The English alphabet consists of 26 letters. You're wrong. There's 18. If you know why, leave it in the comments. I don't want to take time to explain the obvious. Cherels is a content creator. Content is a rather complicated word. It can mean ideas or subjects or a state of calmness. And while clearly from the unoriginality of my YouTube channel, we cannot conclude that those ideas are being created. Can you really consider these ideas if they've probably been thought of millions of times by different people in the world? I mean, you technically can, but like, for the sake of the argument, let's say you can't. We also need more context to what this person means by creator. As in, do I actively create or is this just a one or multiple time thing? For people sticking around on my channel, you can clearly see that this video took way too long to come out due to my laziness. With this much inconsistency to the channel, can you really call me a content creator? Sharks have been around longer than the North Star. This literally isn't even true. Like genuinely, this statement is just flat out incorrect. Wait, I actually just looked this up like what? How? How are sharks older? How is that even possible? It's a star. Murder is a crime. Okay, so in order to prove this is technically not correct in all cases, I did some research to hopefully find at least some place in the world where murder is not considered a crime. But I literally couldn't find anything. It isn't even legal in Antarctica. Like, what? So in order for me to find a place or circumstance where murder isn't a crime, I've had to turn to my last resort. There are no circles in Minecraft. Minecraft, like many games, can be modified from its original version. I'm sure it wouldn't be hard to add circles to Minecraft, assuming it's not already done. And besides, even if it isn't a circle by the pixel, it can still be coded to be like a circle using a beautiful concept called math that I do not know much about, actually. Let's define a square. If a square is a shape with 90 degree angles and all sides are the same length, then technically a square on a sphere is three-sided. If it's a shape with four equal length sides, then technically it is a trapezoid on a sphere. I disagree. No! This is clearly another culturally influenced slogan that doesn't actually have any sort of reliable evidence to back it up. I'd also like to mention that the claim in and of itself doesn't even have enough support to even define what the claim is. Whoever would be ignorant enough to make a claim like this hasn't even considered some of the simple rebuttals, such as yes, or definitely, or maybe, or possibly, or Probably. All that could be used instantly to take down this stupidity of a claim. Go ahead, try to make another claim when you stop being so negative. My goodness. Carol's exists. Nuh-uh.
Mm-hmm. <laughs>